Hi, I'm Tara. Today I'm going to show you how to create a really quick and easy comic book text effect. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to decide what shape we'd like. So I'm going to pick Instagram post square, but you can choose whichever one suits your design the best. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to generate a text box. So we can either go text and add text box, or you can just hit T on your keyboard. It will bring you to the same result. So the word that I am going to make into a comic book style is hero, but I'm actually going to just type each letter separately. Just type H first. And then the font that we're going to use is one called Luckiest Guy. But there's a particular reason why I'm using this, because in the gradient area of Canva, not all the fonts are the same, but I know that Luckiest Guy is in both like general canva and in the type gradient app so that's why i've picked um why i've picked the font lucky's guy so um and i also want my letters to kind of to be able to manipulate each one individually so that's why i'm doing them um separately so we're just gonna quickly do this and again and we're just going to change each to the correct letter so now we have H-E-R-O. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how to do the gradient on each letter. So when we go over to the left hand side and we click on apps, if we key in type gradient, well, you actually just have to key in type and it'll, and it'll throw it up for you. So type gradient is a new app that Canva introduced at the end of last year. So when you click on it, it allows you to add gradient to either words or like a whole kind of sentence or um, or individual letters. So this is in the top box is where you key in what it is that you want to add a gradient to. The font, this is where I was talking about the luckiest guy. So as I say, not all of the fonts are available um, within the type gradient. So that's why you just have to be careful the font that you've picked previously that it is actually in the list and then we are just going to change this to orange and red and orange and so it might be just a little too dark That looks kind of comic booky. And then when you click add to design, it'll add your H for you. So we are just going to make sure that each of these is kind of the same size as the one that's there already. And then we're going to duplicate it. And then in order to edit it, you, you have to go back up to edit. Um, and then you just should be able to change the letter relatively easily. Yep. And then duplicate again. Click on edit at the top. Change it to the letter or. Down to the bottom, update element. And then the same with the last one. Duplicate. Edit. And just key in O and update element. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure that they're all the same size. I mean, we're going to have a kind of um, a fallen shadow underneath it, so they don't have to be absolutely, absolutely. So we're just going to move the um, the gradient letters just down to the bottom and now I'm going to show you the reason why I wanted them to be all separately because I don't want them all to be necessarily the same size so we're just gonna like overlap the R maybe and the O might just like a little bigger and move it up slightly and we might just make a little angle on the H and bring it in 
just nearer to the E. So once you have them separated, um, I'm going to show you now how to make them kind of more three-dimensional looking. We're going to stack them. So you select them all and we are going to fill this one um, orange just so we just so you can see the outline and then you click on effects click on outline and the outline we're going to use is black and um, we probably don't want it as thick as that maybe about 20 about 25 30 okay and then we are going to duplicate that and this one we're going to make we're going to fill black so just bring that up there and we'll go to position and we're going to bring it to the very back so it already has a kind of um kind of comic booky look about it so you want it to be you know like a good bit off the bottom of each letter so then we are going to select them and we're going to duplicate them and this time we are going to make them yellow and we're just going to change the effects then to the outline we're going to make the outline yellow as well same same color as you as we've just done so we're just going to group them together and we're going to position and we're going to send them behind the black letters. So we're just going to move them up slightly. And I think I didn't. No, I didn't. I forgot to change the thickness. So the thickness of them needs to be kind of yeah in or around the same for the for the effect to, to work. So then we are going to duplicate that one again. And this time we're going to make it the orange color and again in the effects we're going to make it the same and the same thickness and then once again we're going to send that to the very back so now we kind of have oh, looks pretty good and now we're going to move these back up so I know I tilted that so you might just need to adjust that slightly. Sometimes they want to kind of snap to the to the nearest um, next like next graphic. So um, if that happens you just need to you just need to use your arrows to kind of adjust them on your keyboard. Okay. And then the or and then the O. Just gonna make that slightly bigger. Okay. So if you find that one of them is in the wrong position, like maybe this or is say down here, um, or well, it wouldn't be down there, sorry. Um, you know, it might not be, it might be in front or whatever. You just use your layers then to um to move them around. Um the layer and position element of Canva I think is fantastic because sometimes it can get a bit, oh my god, I don't even know what layer I'm on. So <laughs> you can look here and you can identify exactly because it will highlight each one every time, every time you kind of scroll over them. So it's, it's really good. So now we have all our letters together. So we're just going to center them down here and we're just going to add a background to it then just to make it stand out even more. So um, we're just going to go into um, the elements. And we're gonna look for a say a sunburst. So there's a few that that come up. Um, we're looking for photos, um, or graphics. You could use graphic either, but um, maybe this one is probably kind of nice. Kind of goes with the colors of what we're using in our in our word. So yeah, that's pretty good. And again, position, we're going to send that to the very back. Um, you can do it there or else you can right click and set image as background. 
we're going to look for like dots um, that you see quite often in kind of comic strip. So um, we're going to key in comic half tone and see all. So we're looking for this kind of effect um, because we're going to put it as a circle behind behind our word. And then we're going to change it to white. And then once again, we're going to position it behind all of our graphics just to make it kind of stand out a bit. So you could actually search for a whole kind of comic background. So instead of putting the um, comic halftone or the sunburst in, you can actually, if you, if you just search for comic, <clears throat> it will give you all of these kind of um, comic, there's a background there, we could have used that either. Um, but I just I just liked um, to show you how to do how to do it yourself. Um, so you know, so you could search for comic clouds or um like these. You could put these at the at the edge of your word just for a, a bit of a kabow or kaboom. <laughs> um and we just maybe tilt that slightly. Um and there's another one that's maybe too too chunky for my word. Yeah, I don't really like that one. Um, or you could put this in the background as opposed to your um, half tone dots. Um, just to make it look really comic booky. It obviously depends on your word as well. Let's put that there. So let me just take this out. So, you know, so it's like whatever, whatever it is, obviously, that um, that you're looking for uh, to make your word stand out as much as you can. If you've learned something new today, please hit that like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.